All right, here we go, guys. Uh, we are going to try to model the other Lego, the Technic version of the Lego uh, this morning uh, or today. So let's get started. First, uh, again, make sure units, as always, metric. Then we'll come up here to sketch, create a sketch. You guys have done this again a million times. Hopefully you got the basic idea of how to begin. We're going to create, um, start by beginning our, creating our two-dimensional shape. And the dimensions of the Technic logo, uh, Lego um, that I'm going to be doing, it is a one by, uh, let's see, four, ten. It's a one by ten. And the overall length of that is going to be, let's see here, it's going to be 80 in length, and the height will be the 10, or no, I'm sorry, the Yes, the depth, we need the depth here, will be 8. So it's an 8 by 80 rectangle. We will stop this sketch and we will extrude this. Uh, the height of it, which will be 10. Okay. Next, we're going to go ahead and create the pattern on the top. Uh, and with the Technic, Technic Legos, uh, again, it's very similar to the bottoms of the other traditional bricks. There's three circles or donuts in the bottom of those. Uh, and so what we see on the top is not your traditional tabs, but again, it's kind of a, a donut looking cylindrical shape. So in order to create that, we need to create a sketch, again, choosing the face, not the plane. Uh, at the top and we will zoom in here and you can place this circle anywhere and the first one is going to be four millimeters so we'll type in our four and then we also need again to create that donut shape you need to create uh, a second circle so if we choose this, let's go ahead and give it a, uh, the second one will be five millimeters. And actually, after measuring, remeasuring, I am incorrect. Um, so we'll just leave it go here at five. And I'm going to go back in because I'm sure many of you um, possibly may have needed to change some measurements as well. So I'm going to take and click on this, uh, one of these, if it'll let me. Uh, it's not going to let me do that. There we go. Um, so I'm not on the dimension tool. If I just click and drag it, I should be able to move that to the side. Now, to enter that or modify any of these, which I need to do, because I gave you the wrong measurements, I apologize. Um, the inside one is actually going to be three. And then the outside one uh, is going to be, you know, we're rounding. Yeah, it's actually going to be 4.5, not 5. Uh, and that still doesn't quite look right. So maybe it's, I wish I had my calipers here. I don't have calipers here at home. Nope, that is three. And the outside is, should be five. So 
let's go back and change this. So once again, forgive me, uh, it is five, three, and five should be your dimensions, and that still doesn't look right. But let's try four. That looks much better. Four and five. I did have it right the first time. Second guess of myself. Sorry, guys. So total or official measurement there, four and five. Let's leave it at that. All right. Next thing I need to do, if you remember the dimension tool, I need to tell it where the center of these circles need to be in reference to our x coordinate. And I believe, I know, I don't believe that uh, these center of these are going to be four millimeters from the edge. And this is a total of eight in depth. And it needs to be centered this way, so we choose the out, upper edge or bottom edge, choose the center of the circle, and we're going to make this 4 as well. So I should place it right in the center. And once I have that, I can go ahead and I can hit the stop sketch. And we can go ahead and we can extrude the donut shape. And the extrusions are 2. Computer's running a little slow. You guys are used to that with <laughs> your wonderful Chromebooks. Um, so we'll zoom back out. Now, uh, if you recall, in order to repeat this, we need to create a rectangular pattern. That's under Create, Pattern, Rectangular Pattern. And a little bit different here, the objects that we want to repeat are you need to choose the top side and the inside and the outside wall so you're cho choosing three different faces here uh, the direction go down we're answering these questions over here on the right the direction needs to go you need to choose an edge that's going in that direction and go ahead and pull my arrow so it's I make sure it's going the right way if I do spacing that magic magical number eight millimeters for the Legos um, or I'm sorry that's I keep getting those mixed up um, I don't want that I want a nine at a distance or it could be ten of negative eight there's our magical number nope it was ten I said it right in the beginning ten negative eight and then the quantity for the other direction is only going to be one excuse me excuse me um and at a distance of zero so well, let's go ahead and finish our extrusion and now we have our donuts tabs whatever you'd like to call them on the top next thing we're going to do is go to our side view or the front view i'm sorry the front view and we're going to create those circles uh, across the face of this. And if we count those circles, there are four or nine of them because they're going to be spaced individually or in between each of these tabs. Again, first thing we need to do, circle, and make sure we're doing center diameter, not choosing a plane. We're going to choose a face. You can go ahead and place this circle anywhere at the moment. And the inside of this circle, I do believe, is four. And if, if you're looking at your Lego, there are, again, I think I mentioned this in class, uh, there are two different circles. There's a, a hole that goes all the way through, and then there's a smaller, or I'm sorry, a larger uh, an indent going around that circle that goes in just slightly. So we need to portray both of those when we're modeling these. All right. Let's go ahead and stop the sketch there. We're going to do this kind of in two different ways uh, because of the hole going all the way through. We can't necessarily mirror this circle, this first circle. Um, it doesn't need to be mirrored. The only thing that needs to be mirrored would be the outside. Uh, circle to the to the other side. 
Um, we don't need to mirror this because it's going all the way through. Right. So we also, or we need to not finish this sketch. Sorry about that. Before we finish this sketch, we need to ensure that the circle is located in its proper location. So we'll choose here for the side. And um, I believe that this should be at 8 from in the x direction. That should put us right smack dab in the middle between the two tabs on the top. And our distance from the bottom is going to be, I believe it's going to be 6 if I remember correctly. Because it's slightly towards the top, it's not, oops, wrong way. Six from the bottom, from the top, that should make it four. Right? Yes. Let's go ahead and stop the sketch. We have it located where it needs to go. We'll hit our extrusion. And let's go ahead and extrude. And we can just go ahead and push this all the way through. Oh, again, over here we talked about on the other Lego, we have a two object, or we have all. You can do it through all since we're not placing any other objects. Or if we want, over here on the distance, we can put a distance in, type that distance in, or we can choose. Um, again, right now I'm doing uh, it's on a distance. We just choose all. It won't ask for a distance, uh, but it may. You may be able to give a. We won't get into that uh, as far as an angle, a taper. Uh, or we can do two object, and if I say I want it just to go to this face, and that would be uh, come in handy when you may have other features on the back side, or there's an object, you're creating an object that has different uh, edges here, uh, and you only want it to go back so far to this particular, um, to the first face, or or. I'm sorry, through the first face to the second face, if that face, is, face were larger than this. Um, and we want it to be cut on cut, because we're creating a hole through it. And there we have it. There is our hole. And I'm actually going to stop here, uh, just because of the length of the video. And go ahead and post this. So I'll pick up with the next video in the next series. Thanks.